Hi, boys and girls. I am going to read you a story, but do you know what I noticed after my last video? I forgot to add the date to our calendar. We sang the days of the week, but then I forgot to do the date. So let's come back up here to calendar. Let's count our days and see what number we need to add for the day. Ready? Let's start at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's number nine. And do you see it's our little pink chick? Because our pattern is going pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink. So boys and girls, today is April the 9th. April 9th. And tomorrow is Friday, boys and girls. And we don't have school tomorrow. Normally on Fridays, we would be, well, in school or doing learning at home and that kind of stuff. But this is a school holiday because Easter is this weekend. So no school tomorrow. Y'all can enjoy your day with your family. All right, boys and girls, before I start on my book for the day, I wanted to show you a cool insect. Miss Hamill actually found this insect at her house a long time ago, and she brought it to school for me to keep for when we did our insect unit because she knows how much I like insects and to show y'all. This is a type of dragonfly. Look how beautiful his wings are. You can still see his head. I have to be very careful with him because he's getting very fragile. You can see his eyes on there and his wings. His legs have broken off, but I can see antennas right here, antenna. And if I use my magnifying glass, let's see if you can kind of, it's kind of hard to do this on here. But look how beautiful those wings are. They're like a brownish color. You can see all the little details on him. I see his head and his thorax and his abdomen, abdomen and thorax and his head. Isn't that cool? I wanted to show you that. All right, boys and girls, our story for the day is about an insect. And this is an insect that I hear in my backyard at night. This is a cricket. How many of you ever hear crickets in your yard? Do you hear them? Crickets don't hurt us, do they? They are types of insects that are harmless. They don't hurt us. Well, this book, Boys and Girls, is written and illustrated by one of our favorite authors and illustrators. This is by Eric Carl. And you probably notice some of his pictures and how they look like other pictures that we've seen before, like in Brown Bear, Brown Bear, and Polar Bear, Polar Bear. Lots of stories that we've read that Tiny Seed was also illustrated by Eric Carl. So this is the Very Quiet Cricket. I hope you enjoy it. And get situated. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. See him? Did you know that insects come from eggs? Welcome, chirped a big cricket rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hello whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. You see the little worm? The little cricket wanted to answer, so what do you think he did? He rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled a spittle bug, sipping in a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but what do you think? Nothing happened, not a sound. Do you think that little cricket is getting frustrated? 
Do you ever get frustrated like when you're trying really hard to do something and it's just not working out and you get frustrated and maybe you want to give up? That's what it means to feel frustrated. And I bet he is getting frustrated. Let's see if we can solve the problem. Good afternoon, screeched a cicada, clinging to the branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. He's still trying. At least he hasn't given up. He's still trying, isn't he? How are you? hummed a bumblebee flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. <sighs> but nothing happened, not a sound. All of those other insects are sure being nice, aren't they? They're all saying hello to him. How are you? Good day. Oh, there's a dragonfly like I showed you and what I used for my pointer today. Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but still nothing happened, not a sound. All right, so it was morning, boys and girls, and he's traveled all along during the daytime, and now it's the evening. Evening is another word for nighttime. Good night, good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. There he is in the nighttime. Look at all those mosquitoes. Oh, that's an insect I do not like. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. Boys and girls, a luna moth is a pretty large moth. They don't hurt you. They only come out at night, and they're absolutely beautiful. Maybe you can find one on YouTube. They are incredible insects. It's nighttime now. What do you see in the sky? Is it the sun or the moon? Who comes out at night? The moon. And there goes the luna moth. It's dark, it's nighttime. The stars are in the sky. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Can you see it, boys and girls? Here's, here's the little guy we've been reading about and look, here's another cricket and she is quiet too. Do you think they'll be friends? So he rubbed his wings together one more time. And do you hear it? Listen. Do you hear it? He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. Do you hear it? He could finally chirp at last, boys and girls. He found a friend and he was finally able to chirp. Do you think she learned to chirp too after that? I bet she did. And do you know what? He was not a lonely cricket anymore because he had a friend to chirp with in the nighttime. All right, boys and girls, thank you for listening.